Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. I'm just up the road today uh, near uh, Goodhue, Minnesota, and I'm with uh, Gary Dierks. I met uh, Gary again at auction, the, the sale August 3rd, where the 4640 over in Bingham Lake, Minnesota, sold for 61 k And Gary, you told me a story that day about a neighbor of yours with quite a collection. Um, thank you for telling me that <laughs> about uh, Denny. Denny Hink, we're on his place now to see his collection and why don't we just pick it up there Denny has uh, something quite an unusual collection doesn't he yes he does garden tractors and lots of them yeah you told me uh, he said Pete you need to come look at this and let's uh, let's go meet well first of all thank you again Gary for for uh, teeing me up with the story but folks will pan around here and this is Denny Hink from Red Wing Minnesota Denny thank you for having me out this morning yep and uh, you do have quite a collection of garden tractors. Well, Denny. Just, I just buy a few here and there, and pretty soon they accumulate quite a bit. So. They tend to do that, don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's take a walk into the shed yep, here. Yep. Uh, folks, this, this is going to be a treat here. Yep. And I've noticed over the years a lot more interest uh, collecting in the vintage uh, garden tractors. But here, folks, I'll just pan around here. Yep, yep. Um, I got some, I collect a little bit of everything. And you have quite a color variety here, Denny. Yes, yep, I got some kind of like any, any kind of handmade. You right, know, so. right. Now how long, you haven't been collecting too long, have no, you No, about 20 years. It's, 20, yep. okay. What was it that got you going on collecting uh, garden I bought the, my first riding lawnmower, was a Sears, um, about a seven horse okay. uh, custom suit. Okay. It was a very cheap tractor and I just I spray painted it with um, uh, spray rattled cans and okay. that was kind of my first one and now I, I do um, I have my brother do all the um, painting so mm. by oh. sprayer. And what's your brother's name, Denny? David. David. Yeah. Twin twin brother, is that correct? Twin brother, yeah. Okay. Yep. And well, he has a lot of them. He collects also? Yeah, yeah, he collects too. How many does he have roughly? He probably has 25, 30. So you guys, you're, you're, yep. you might be slightly ahead or you're close? Yeah, well, I'm, I probably got a little more than that, but oh, who you. knows, you know. <laughs> well. The guy shouldn't count. <laughs> that's correct. There's, and there's always room for one or two more, yep, right? Yep, yep. Okay. Yep, yep. Well, let's, uh, we'll pan around here now. We have a lot to talk about, Denny, but there's a particular row here. Let's come over. Yep. To the first uh, row. This is the, the one with the, the cock shot pine country. Um, they're red in color. They're just like the Oliver, but they're uh, much much harder to find than, than the green one. So right down the row here, we've got three whites, town and countries, and then yeah. four Olivers. Five Olivers. Five Olivers. Okay. Oh, the little 75 is yeah, hiding yeah. back there. Five okay. Olivers, the, the complete set. Well, Denny, now, now come here and tell me again, these whites, the 145, the 125, and the 105. Yeah. These were, they're the same as the Oliver, but they were sold in Canada? Yep, only in Canada. Yep. Okay. Under the cock shop. Sure. Uh, you know, but right. they, they didn't call them white. They were town and country white. They, right. Then there's no cock shop riding on more. Okay. So town and country on the side yep. here. Yep. And these, the three whites, now you were telling me these are exceedingly rare. There's, there's only a handful made of only each like, model? There's, there's only like probably four or five of the 105 and the 145. The 125 is probably eight, ten. Okay. You know. And where did you find, these were from Minnesota that yeah, you got? Yeah, them? I bought them from a friend out of, uh, um, yeah, up at Shakopee. Oh, sure. We, Came, they came out of and okay. uh, sold me two of them, and then he, then finally he sold me the other ones. Uh, and my brother redid the, the one one twenty five. Well, your your brother is uh, yep. very talented. Wow, yep, they're yep. beautiful, just yep, beautiful. Beautiful, right? So there's only one other model of of a uh, white town and country here. That's yeah, yeah, a no, there's a seventy five, yep, okay. and then a one twenty five. Straight stick, uh, hydro. There's a okay. straight stick and a hydro. Okay. Mine, and this is your 125. Yep. And mine's the hydro. So okay. I I need the 125 straight stick. Okay. Yep. 
Have you have you ever seen one? No, I have never seen one. No. How do you find all these? Uh, is it mostly um, through the internet. In antique power and internet, I got friends that okay. look for me. You know. Okay. I'm not an internet person. You know, I'm not I'm too old. Oh, you're never too old. <laughs> but I, I suppose uh, your collector friends yeah. uh, know you're into these. They, you get a lot of phone calls from yeah, like, hey, yeah, Danny. Yeah, yeah, a lot of phone calls. People call, always okay. looking, telling me about it. Okay. Well, I got to tell you, I've never seen uh, these white uh, town and country, the 105, 125, no, 145. No. Just beautiful. Yeah. And it, you were saying you think these are kind of early to mid-70s? Yeah, yeah, they've only made them one year. I think 70... They're 73 or 74, right okay. in there. Okay. Yep. Yep. Well, right. let's walk down the line. Look yep. at your Olivers now. Yeah. Because, uh, Danny, this is what Gary was telling me about. He said, See, man, you got to... This is a town in the country. Okay. And that, that's the blue made by Jacobson. Okay. I'll come around and get a, a different yep. shot on it here. Yep. That was made by Jacobson? Yep, yep. And, that, and they're, 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 they're a very desirable collector. Pretty rare, huh? Yeah. And that is that a 112 model? Yeah, yeah, 112. That's kind of the common one, you know. Okay. Let me get in for a close look. They're so beautiful. Yeah. Now, next to it, that is a... That's a Sears. That's Sears. A friend of mine, you know, gave it to me. And right. I put the three-point hitch on and... Yep. You don't see them too much. You let them get thrown away. You right, know? right. And I suppose a lot of these, even these models, these whites and these olivers back in the mid '70s, when the company was having trouble, I, I suppose a lot of them just got kind of chucked. Oh yeah, yeah. They just, uh, you know, they they. Well, in the '70s, a lot of there were a lot of lawnmower tractors. Right. But then in the '80s, we had tough times. Right. That's when it went off. Like right. The case bought out the international. We were talking, yeah, you're right. There were a lot more companies making garden tracks, yeah, just yeah. like snowmobiles back in the day. Those are all three of horses. Those are in the 67, 70 models. Yeah. Okay, now these Olivers here, uh, I'll pan down the, the line here, folks. We've got a 145 here. Yep. Then a 125. Yep, yep. And then there's another, another 125 straight stick. Okay. That's the high note, that's the straight stick. Okay. This is a straight stick. A 105. 105. And that 75 is a straight stick. That's the baby. That, that's the baby. And that, that everybody, well, not many people bought a 77 horse tractor. Right. And they they uh, threw them when they were junk, you know. Oh. Man, that's beautiful. With fixing, you know. Let me, let me back up and get a shot of the line here. Yeah, okay. And now this, collection these five olivers Dana did you buy these from one yep, owner yep. and where was that That's guy from new, uh, new market, Minnesota. New, okay yep. that you significantly bumped up your collection when you acquired these five yeah 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 I, I got a better deal on it you know if I took all five and, right um, do you have a favorite of the five olivers I what? do you have a favorite of the five oh, I like the 145 and uh, the way the price is done, the 75 is probably my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> what do you figure that's worth? That's, I mean, the 75. The, the 75, uh, well, I said that one was sold for like 9300 Wow. And uh, that wasn't redone. That was just as is? Because there's only a handful of them out there? I, I, I wouldn't sell that for 8000 now. Right, that. right. Well, let me let's uh, hop up back out here, Danny. Yeah. We have a lot of a lot of models to talk about. Uh, yeah. Now you've got a couple John Deere's. You got a 214 here. Yeah, that, that's just a common. Yep. Uh, this. Well, you had to throw a little green in here, Danny. Yeah, and that's a 214. This is the one with the Renault motor in it. It's beautiful. A wheel that, horse. I haven't got that yet. I haven't got the bottom painted yet. That's all plastic, that, that back, hmm. that, and that drapes all the time. Okay. And mine is just, it's all, you know, perfect. You right. Know. So you were telling me wheel horse were manufactured both, what was it, Germany? 
and also yeah, here in the US? One. Yep, this one. All the other wheel horses were made in West Bend, okay. Indiana. And this, this one is from it, West Bend? No, no, yep, this is from West Bend. Okay. But you could, they originally, a lot of them were made in Germany. Okay. Yep. Now right next to it, we got kind of an interesting little rig, yeah, the Heston. The Heston. Where'd you get this 180? Yeah, out of Des Moines, Iowa. And they made choppers and you know, that that's the same company, that Heston. So you got the blade on the front there. Yeah, did yeah, did yeah. you move some of yeah. our record snowfall last yeah, year? Yeah, no, I just, it's, <laughs> but it's a it turn, you know. Right. Yeah, I, have a, I don't know that I've seen one of these rigs either. That's no, pretty they're, cool. Yeah, they're, they're different. Now we've got some uh, some more whites here. Yeah, that's the newer one. Yep. Those are the 80s, in the 78, 80. Okay. Well, what is it about the that 70s, 80s uh, vintage, 60s through 80s? That, does it just kind of speak to you, Denny, or what is it about it? Well, they're old enough. They're collectibles. Yep. A lot of people don't want to get in the after 85, you know, mm. would be the, kind of the cutoff. Sure. And well, then we've got uh, a couple eight, Alice. That's a B1 Alice. That's the first year they made. And that was in about 1963. 63, I'll be done. Yeah, and that, 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 you can see, I'm not going to do nothing with it because it, it, right. I bought it. The guy's still mowing with it. Wow. That come from right around uh, yeah, southeast Redwood. Minnesota? Right Five blocks away from me. Oh, you're kidding. Yep, yep. yep. Nice. Yep. Who was the dealer that sold them back? Well, I don't here. know who it was, but he had doctor owned it. Doctor, okay. He, he bought it new, then he used it for a year, and then his wife said, well, why don't we just hire the kid next door? And then you put, so sure. I got the snowblower, two blades, and, uh, the weight, everything. I mean, I got manual, huh. and uh, the guy, when the doctor passed away, he left it to the guy that I bought it from. And he used it for 25 years. Wow. So you think it's an early 60s, huh? Yep, yep, yep. It just, so 55 plus years old right now. Yep, yep. That thing's in pretty good shape. For oh, you bet it is. Man. That's, that's why I don't want to do nothing with right, it. Right, you know? right. Yep. And then the HB 112? Yeah, that's the I don't know what year. It'd be about a 70. Yeah. Yep. And you, you got a Massey. I didn't notice yep. the Massey before. Yep, yep, oh. that's a, yep, that's a common, a common one, but... Your brother, uh, he painted them. Yeah. Brother's name again? You told me about David. David. Yeah. Yeah. He's got some some yep. great skill there with. Yeah. That. Yeah. He does. He he's just doing that wheel work for me right now. Okay. I just bought it and so. Ah. Yeah. Everything okay. that's everything that's been out here has been painted by him. Okay. Except the big Oliver. Wow. Let's go down this way, uh, Danny. Uh, Minneapolis Moline. Yeah. How one, long have you had that? I just got him. Uh, I went down this this winter and got them. Okay. Um, Where did it come out of? I had it a year. You know. It came out of, um, I picked it up in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Okay. Oh, now, your whole collection here, what's the, what type of range geographically? What's the farthest you've gone? Uh, I went out to Sturgis, South Dakota, um, Blackfoot, Illinois, Indiana. Hmm. Probably made a lot of friends along the way. Yeah, there, yeah, huh? yeah. That, that's part of it, you know, the camaraderie. Right. You know, so. Now, this New Holland, boy, I, I haven't yeah. run across too many New Hollands over the years. That, that deal was, I bought that, not bought a friend of mine, high school friend, he got it. He said he was sitting in the shed for 20 years or 25 years, and it was way beyond that, so 35 years. Mm. <clears throat> and and uh, still didn't, I didn't pump up the tires or nothing. Mm. Pulled it out and cleaned all the mice, the trappings out of there, the nest, and it started right up. Wow. It's just hard to believe, and it's in really nice shape. You think that's an 80s model? Oh, yeah, about 80, 82, someplace okay. near. Okay. And beautiful simplicity right next to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's, they're very desirable. A lot of, they made a lot of them, different makes. And Do you know where, some, where was simplicity made? Um, I think Milwaukee. Okay. Yeah. And uh, we have that Cub Cadet. That's mm. the first year in 1970 with the Fenders. The, wow. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah. They just uh, and then they got that little wheel horse. That they're just that's about a 60 model. Okay. And uh, 
They're very nice. Hey, you have you have quite a number of wheel horses here. Right? Oh yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll pan around, yep, folks. Yep, yep. I don't know if I got them in the shot yep. before, but up in the far corner, up on top there. Yep. Now, what models are those? That, that, that first one, that's a Lawn Ranger. Okay. See, and when that went to everybody threw it. They were, you didn't you didn't fix them. Huh. And, but a guy had it in the garage. I was at a show, and I had a wheel horse done there, and he said, I got one just like it. Well, it was, it was like that, but he said it was this, you know, you can right. see the difference. Right. And uh, that's what I ended up with. And the guy didn't want nothing for it. I said, well, yeah, I got to give I left some money on the t table for him, and, and it's very desirable. Very cool. Very cool. Yep. All right, let's swing back another. You got a John Deere 70 here again, just to throw a little yep, green in. It's a 70 John Deere. That's a, it's a little throw away model, you know. How about the, the Case 150? Yeah, with, that, uh, that's, um, I got that in uh, out by Mankato. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, that, and that's, that's an older restoration, you know. All these different uh, models and makes. Danny, was that was that part of your? Did just sort of happen over the years? You wanted variety in your collection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could try to get one of these, like like them simplicity. Yep. <clears throat> you, you 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 couldn't collect all the numbers or wheel horse. They they yeah. got so many numbers. Right. You, you'd have to you'd have a hundred different wheel horses. You know? huh. Yeah. Look at these simplicities, folks. Yeah, yeah. Man, yeah. Talk about beautiful. Yeah. Uh, just uh, that the only one that isn't done is that one. That picture looks the same as that. Sure. But uh, 101, huh? Yep. Yeah, How old do you figure that is? Um, they're at 65, 68, something okay. in there. Okay. And the simplicity uh, 210, and up yeah. top we got. Uh, 2010. Uh, the Gilson. Tell me about the Gilson yeah, up yeah, there. Yeah, the Gilson is a, it's a spin. I, I don't know which. I think the Gilson was a little bit more money than the Montgomery Ward. But okay. they're the same tractor, huh. except different paint color. Sure. You know, Jacobson over here. Yeah. And yeah. that Boland 10 they came with a Wisconsin engine. Okay. Yep, so. Now, what did you mow with when you were uh, over the years? Uh, uh, I, what did I mow with? Yeah. Uh, a push mower. Push mower. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I love it. And when I lived on the farm, my dad had a lot of sheep. <laughs> so he didn't mow. There you go. There's your genesis for the collection, folks. Yep, right? Yep. That's awesome, Denny. Now yep. over here uh, we have uh, a Lambert. Yep. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's a beautiful little rig. Yeah, yeah. That's a, and I don't know much about them. You know, I know they're, they're no desirable. You know. Where did you find this one? Uh, that came out of uh, Missouri. I went down there. Okay. Yep. And uh, Cadet 182, man. That's yeah, that, that's, that's one of the that's very, very, very desirable. How about now? And then, and then uh, Moto, I don't know. That's just like a Massey Ferguson. Okay. They, they had it uh, kind of a seven, 1976, you know, 1776. Yep. That's on the same order as that one. Moto, man. Yeah, Moto. Moto. You've got some cool stuff here. Yeah. Then you know, up top, another one, a little yep. giant. Yeah, and that's a Wagner. And that's an original Wagner uh, trailer. Man. And it, it got the different hitch on it, and it got Wagner right on it. Yep, there you go, folks. Wagner since yep. 1850. Now, you were telling me the front of this Just little look giant. Look at the 465, 60 International. You know, and yeah. you, 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 and you look at it. Same thing. There you go. You know, the same paint. Supposedly, that's why they. That's how they. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You just you, got you got cool stuff all over here, Danny. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, see that Wagner. Um. You can find the frame and everything, and but you got to get the the motor, the and the and the hood is what's worth money. Everybody just threw the hood. You know, I mean, they're, no. they're just gone. You don't find them. So. Did you buy it in that condition? Uh, yeah, yeah. Decent, yeah. Okay. It was, you know, like I said, my brother. Swing around and get a shot of it again yeah, here for yeah. you, folks. It is. It's just. Uh, In case you've never seen a little giant. No, it's 700 it's, garden tractor. They made it. about four or five different models of them. Yeah. There's a 575, 525, 700, 725. I don't know. Mm. 
whatever number they wanted, I think they just kind of wanted us to put it on. Mine came with a 700. So I gotta love that logo there with the yep, guy yep, holding yep, up the yep. little giant. Yep. All right, I'm gonna pan around here and we have a, a case with a cab. Yeah. What model that's is a this? It's a 195. Okay. Yeah. That's and the cab is? It, it's a um, Twin Cities cab. Gotcha. Yeah, and they still make them right up in the city. Shakopee, someplace in there. Okay, now I haven't walked back here, folks. Well, this is a new row. I haven't checked out with, with Denny. Another wheel horse, a beauty here. That's a... Yep. Uh, Model is that one? That, that, that's this is a Raider 12. That's about a 60 Raider Raider 12. Wow. Up top, yeah, classic had, had two, 112. The two 112. Those were my second and third tractors. I won. Okay. They're very common, but very de desirable. Very too. iconic, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They, almost everybody had a 110 or 112. Right. Right. And the Matthew Ferguson is a 12. So that's common. Okay. Now, what about the Alice down here? Yeah, that, that's the B10, 110. That's about a um, uh, 70, 72, someplace in there. Yeah, I love the seat on that thing, man. Yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. take these out to any parades or yeah. anything? No. Yeah. That, the seats, I, I, uh, they're new. You know. Okay. Uh, the Husky, the, the Bolins, that's a uh, different type of deal. That's about a. Um, 64. Well, there you go, folks. Uh, what great fun to get a walkthrough of the vintage garden tractor collection of Denny Hink of Red Wing, Minnesota. <clears throat> I tell you, what a fun day. Um, and I've had so much fun over the years um, getting to take a peek at uh, folks' collections, whether they are tractors, uh, you know, trucks, grain trucks, uh, Petroliana, uh, farm signs uh, or garden tractors like Denny it's just so fun you know to hear the collectors talk about why they started collecting and what each one means and uh, it's an honor to be able to share these collections uh, with you in these YouTube videos and again I want to thank my friend Gary Dierks from Goodhue Minnesota uh, who I ran into at the auction August 3rd in Bingham Lake Minnesota where the 4640 sold for 61k and that, it, there's a little secret folks 30 years I've been doing this it's it's awesome to cover the sales and bring you the, the prices and talk about trends and stuff but the real fun it's the people you talk to at the sales or the farm shows and the stories like this that we run into about Danny Hink Red Wing Minnesota's vintage garden tractor collection now before I left uh, Danny and the guys had one more surprise for me all right, folks, as we were winding up here, uh, the crew, Denny's uh, friends over here, we got Gary and Gary's boy, uh, Bill over there, raise your hand, Bill, um, told me about Denny and your world famous salsa. Now, Denny, how long have you been making salsa? 15, 20 years, a long time. And how much, what is a batch? How much do you make? Um, I made over 50 quarts of of salsa. And I gotta get a close up here. I, now, can you divulge I only got any, about 30 left. <laughs> can you divulge any secrets in your <laughs> secret ingredients in your salsa? No, I got this just whatever's in the refrigerator, fresh tomatoes and peppers and Okay. Well know, I love celery, it. Celery, onion, garlic. And Gary's uh his brother John. Right. John, now you said you brought a couple empty jars of salsa yeah. as a hint? Yes I did. Yeah. <laughs> I see them. <laughs> I got one was blown over. It was, didn't even broke, break, you know. Well, Denny, I, I, I can't believe you're you're gifting me this jar of salsa. Thank you yeah. so much. And yeah. that's, uh, and you said you asked me if I had cats at home. Yeah, yeah. In case the salsa is no good, just give it to the cats. <laughs> that's. <what. laughs> and, and guys, you you can all vouch for this salsa. It's yeah. just awesome. It's very awesome. Yeah. Very cool. And you uh, now, who we got here? This is. Dennis, you were saying that uh, the story goes that uh, Denny sold some salsa to buy his first garden tractor. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's how it all started, right there. Like, Is that true, Denny? No, no, <laughs> no. They're giving you some crap, huh? <laughs> yep. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Denny. What a what a fun morning. Yep. Ram trucks, premier vehicle of Machinery Pete TV.